this uh, uh, goes tandem with the uh, sewer article, and the sewer article doesn't pass. You still do this and have it uh, waiting for perhaps the sewer to come back next year, uh, and just delay it a year, or would this, is this a year ahead of time? Um, some, some of the reconstruction of Route 1 from the center up towards the Northampton line, there was a lot of discussion about burying the electrical and, and everything that, that's in this for downtown. And the, uh, I, I don't, I was on the board, but I don't remember all the details. It was 99, the actual paperwork was put through the state. But uh, the, at that time, the electric company said that it would be cost prohibitive to take the poles down and connect, like uh, where Scott Pontiac used to be at Hackett Chevrolet. All those buildings had three-phase power, and the, and the cost to take that down and bury it and then make the private businesses connect was, was astronomical back then. And I don't know, as there's an awful lot of difference with, with this proposal here, except that it's not as long yeah. and there are less uh, power yeah. requirements than there were in the North End. But is, is this a year ahead of time or is this premature because we don't know about the sewer article? If, if that doesn't pass, this is going to sit, and so is that. Great. I feel it's almost like a, it's kind of like a presidential news conference with a number of questions on the floor. So let me take the first one first. Yeah. If, if the article to replace the sewer does not pass, um, the water will probably still proceed. So yeah. the yeah. northbound lane will, well, the we'll northbound disrupted. side of the road will be disrupted. Yeah. I will still have to disrupt a portion of the south side because I have a section of clay pipe that as I explained in the presentations the other night and a couple of weeks ago is it's missing, it's gone. So um, I'll be in there digging up a portion just north of the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, how far up the street, I don't know um, until we get in there and dig it up. Um, so a portion of the work would definitely go through. Would I then bring Warren article back through? Yes, because it doesn't change the fact that it's a 1934 pipe right. severely cracked and probably giving me a lot of inflow, infiltration into the line and probably losing some sewer water. Uh, so that, that won't change that. If we, if this passes and the sewer fails, what would end up happening is the engineering would proceed forward and because what we've heard from the other communities is you can't take enough time to do it. This is not, that's why when you I first got up here and you said it will be done, you know, all at the same time. In a lifetime perspective, yes, it will all be done at the same time. I won't be going in there every five years, but it is a multi-year project. And, and it will give us time, a better time to plan it out, see what it's going to look like, control our costs. As far as the electrical, we're just digging into it. It doesn't sound like... Uh, much has changed in the electrical side, except you are right, there's not as many three-phase, or any, to our knowledge, any three-phase users this far south. And, um, but different than the north end, there's ability to move some of those utilities on the back side of the structures. We, on the north-north side, we're parallel to the, to the uh, railroad line, and we can use that. That's an, currently an undeveloped portion of land. But easements would have to be obtained, et cetera. So we may not actually, in the terminology, we keep saying bury the poles, but understand we're not burying a 60-foot pole 60 feet down. We're burying the lines. We're just getting rid of the poles okay, along the street. Thank you. I hope that answered it. Yeah. 